answer. It's an individual to pray. Yes, it's a God to answer. answer. Believe God with me today that all things are possible. And I, I want you to know that He's going to be so powerful as we pray. We started the scripture yesterday, John chapter 5. We are going to continue that today and probably wrap up tomorrow. But I like you to know that God has a plan for your life, He has an agenda for your life. He has a divine, divine, multi purpose plan. And that plan must be fulfilled. Amen. Amen. Right now, do very well to touch the like button and share the link. Share the link to as much people as you can. And let's begin to pray. Touch the like button right now. Do that. Do that immediately. Touch the like button. When you touch the like button, you are doing what I'm doing for you. You are ministering to somebody. You are, that's your platform. Your device now is your platform to minister. <clears throat> it's your platform to be a blessing to somebody. It's your platform to minister. Genesis 12 verse 2, God said to Abraham, I will bless you and make you a blessing. So once God has blessed you, become a blessing. So touch the like button so the video can come up easily for anyone to watch it. And even for you, when you come back later, to want to watch it. Don't forget, we are still considering God is able. The ability of God has never been in doubt. The capability of God cannot be questioned. He's able to do all things. All things. The Bible says in Philippians 3.21, it is able to subdue all things. All things. Ephesians 3 verse 20 is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to his power that works in us. In Job 42 verse 2. See, I know that thou canst do all things and nothing can be withholding from thee. Nothing can be held back from thee. He can do all things. And in Mark 10 27 Matthew 19, 26, it's clear that with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. In Hebrews 7, verse 25, the Bible says, it's able to save to the uttermost them that come to God through him, believing that he ever liveth to make intercessions for them. And when the, when the three blue boys were about being thrown into the furnace, they said clearly in Daniel chapter 3 and verse number 17, that God is able to deliver us out of the hand and out of this bony, fiery furnace. So we're going to consider the word of the Lord today as we begin to pray. And I'm believing God is going to be a new season entirely Amen. in your life. Amen. Amen. God is too faithful, too committed to his word. Too committed to his word. He's too faithful, too committed to his word. In 1 Samuel 15, 29, he said, The strength of Israel will not lie. The strength of Israel Will not lie in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18. He said, By two immutable things, whereon it was impossible for God to lie. Numbers 23, verse 19. God he says, God is not a man for him to lie, but the son of man for him to repent. As he said it, will he not do it? As he spoken, will he not make it good? And Titus 1 2 says, God cannot lie. Malachi 3, verse 6. He said, I'm the Lord, I change it not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Please, i like to hold on to this word because there is power in this world. And we are going to pray. And as we start praying, I want you to get ready because God is going to reach out to you. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So right now, touch the like button. Touch it. Everybody online, touch the like button. If you are watching on TV, make calls. Call someone and tell them, wonders without number is on the air. Share it on your Facebook, on your IG, on YouTube. Just share. Share it. Share this link now to everyone. Become an evangelist. Become a prophet to your neighbor. Share it. Become a minister. Share it right now. Touch the like button. It doesn't take anything. It's just a snap. Or a smash on the button. That's all. So we're going to pray. And I'm believing God for you. And for something very big, very huge, very outstanding to happen in your life. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Just obey the instruction now as we begin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. I bless and lift your name. Oh, you blessed Savior. You are worthy of my praise. There is none like you. At the four corners of the earth. You are the sunshine, holy, holy, beautiful you are. 
I bless and lift your name. Oh, you blessed Savior. You are worthy of my praise. There is none like you. And the four corners of the earth. You are the sunshine. Holy, holy, beautiful you are. Jesus you are. Savior you are. Healer you are. Excellent in your ways. Mighty you are. Faithful you are. Holy, holy, beautiful you are. Jesus you are. Savior you are. Healer you are. Excellent in your ways. Mighty you are. Faithful you are. Holy, holy, beautiful you are. I bless and lift your name. Oh, you blessed Savior. You are worthy of my praise. There is none like you. At the four corners of the earth, you are the sunshine. Holy, holy, beautiful you are. Jesus, you are. Savior, you are. Healer, you are. Excellent in your ways. Mighty, you are. Faithful, you are. Holy, worthy, beautiful. We bless your holy name. Ababa shagala manda la badas. Ngolo braga ya laga da bala badas. Shakomos. Uruba ya laga la. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, worship is holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. My soul, worship is holy name, seem like never before. Oh, my soul, worship is holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul, worship is holy name. And sing like never before. Oh my soul, worship is holy. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I 
shall we glorify Emmanuel. Glorify Emmanuel. 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 Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us magnify Emmanuel. We will magnify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us magnify Emmanuel. We will magnify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Worship you. Alade ogo, alade ogo, ogbe ogo kari ogo, oluwa alade ogo ma bola, ogbe ogo kari ogo. Oluwa ala de ogo ma ole Ogbe ogo kari ogo ala de ogo ma ole Jesu lo lagbara atudo Jesu lo lagbara Obatiti lai Jesu lo lagbara adodo Minu wa ye mi o Jesu lo lagbara Obatiti Kini ma fi san bore ya bi o ti pato la ye mi egberu wa ko to fu yire Monsieur Calibro Sadaba. Praise it. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. Praise it. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. Praise it. You are worthy of my praise. 
days. Oh, 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 oh. You are worthy of my praise. Praise. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. You are worthy of my praise. Blessed be your name. Jesus name. Amen. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Amen. In John chapter 5, we are doing verse 3 today. In this, let's do verse 1 and verse 3. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. After this, there was a feast. After this prayer in your life, there shall be a feast. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be a feast. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be celebration. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be testimony. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be turnaround. Yeah. After this prayer in your life, there shall be lifting. Yeah. Yeah. Bible says, after this, there was a feast in your family. In all that you do, Amen. in your interest, Amen. after this there shall be a feast. Amen. After this there shall be a feast. Amen. After this there shall be celebration. Amen. After this there shall be a miracle. Amen. After this there shall be a testimony. Amen. After this there shall be an intervention. Amen. See, after this there was a feast. In verse three, talk about the pool of Bethesda. In verse three, he said, "In this lay a great multitude of impotent folks, of blind, of halt." Of withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Of blind, of impotent folk, sorry. Of blind, of hot, of withered, waiting for the ministry of the water. Now, these are five categories of people with diverse challenges, and it signifies ministry gifts that God sent people with specific ministry gifts to this category of people. To the impotent folk, he sent the apostles. The apostles are those who produce fruits. The impotent folk, he sent the apostles. To the blind, he sent the prophets. Prophets are those who are sent by God for with revelational powers, revelational giftings and capacity, insight and insight. For the halt, he sent the evangelist. The evangelists are those who move. Those who have been halt. He said, "They invite those who move." And for the withered, he sent the teachers. The teachers help you if you have dry in faith. They teach you the word of God to nourish you. And waiting for the movement of the water, he sent the pastors. Pastors are those that nourish you, that teach you patience. As you are waiting on the Lord, they show you love and show you concern. So that's for that. We're going to handle this today in several dimensions. The first, he said. The impotent folk. We're going to handle the impotent folk and the blind today. Those that need the ability of God manifested, released upon their life, unveiled, uncovered, demystified in their life. The first category are the impotent folks. Those who are unfruitful. The plan and the purpose of God is for you to be fruitful. In Genesis 1 verse 22, Genesis 1 verse 28, it made it clearly that being fruitful is not an advice, it's a command. Genesis 8 verse 17. Genesis 9 verse 1. Genesis 9 verse 7. It's not an advice, it's a command. Genesis 17 verse 6. Genesis 28 verse 3. Genesis 35 verse 11. In Exodus 1 verse 7, it tells how the children of Israel were fruitful in the land. So God wants you to be fruitful. So now, fruitfulness is producing seed after your kind. Fruitfulness could be the fruit of the womb. 
can be the fruits of the, your body, can be fruits of your mind, can be your status, can be any kind of fruit, can be fruit of your labor. So God wants you to produce fruit. But God's desire for you to produce fruit is for you to produce fruit after your kind. What you bring forth should be after your kind. If the potentials and the capacity God has put inside of you, you bring anything less than that, you are not tempted fruitful. He said, impotent folks. Impotent folks. Impotent folks. Impotent folks. In Matthew chapter 19, Jesus was speaking about some people who became eunuch. Verse 12. He was talking about that. You know what a New York eunuch is? One who cannot bring forth. And open our eyes, unveiled to see three ways people can become eunuch and become unfruitful. The first is there are those who are born from their mother's womb as eunuchs. Some people, their unfruitfulness has a connection to foundation. When I was talking about our mothers, I told us very well that um, a mother's foundation is very powerful, very silent in operation. You lived in a country before you came to whatever nation you are in or you were born into. You live in a world. The world you were living in was called your mother's womb. It was a world of its own. You were eating there. You were living there. You were growing there. You were forming there. Whatever happened to you in the world you were born into is on the platform of that world. In fact, they had to cut something. The cord had to be cut that connected you to that world. So you understand the part of that word. Some people say some people we are born so from their mother's womb, meaning their unfruitfulness is foundational. The reason they cannot be fruitful is because of their connection to their foundation. Their maternal foundation, paternal foundation from their mother's womb. He said there are some eunuch who will make eunuch of men. There are some people who are not fruitful because of a human hand. Somebody is involved in their unfruitfulness. Somebody is contending and making them unfruitful. Someone's hand is on them, chasing them, harassing them, being parasitic of them. By men. You see, and that's some that made themselves, you know, there are some people who are unfruitful by reason of what they do, their character, their lifestyle, their attitude to God, their laxity, their lethargy, their lackadaisical approach to spiritual matters. You see. So, it's either they were born like that, or they were made like that of men who would let them rest. Who kept harassing them. And until these men go into extinction, your manifestation cannot come to fruition. And don't forget what the Bible says in Isaiah 6, 1, in the year Isaiah died. I saw the Lord. I also. I like the word, I also. He said, I also. In other words, people have seen the Lord. People have experienced the Lord. But I saw also. Others have seen, I didn't see. Others have testimony, I didn't have a testimony. Oh, that's how they turn around that they have But I saw also. I also saw the Lord. You see. So you must understand that God wants you fruitful. And that's what I'm going to pray to the oh Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. Amen. Make me fruitful. Amen. You get a certain age in life, people expect so much from you. You have to be fruitful. If you have marriageable age and you're not married, it means the enemy is contending your fruitfulness. If you've been married and there's no baby, no fruits of the womb, the enemy is contending. You have been working and laboring and there's no evidence, the enemy is contending your fruitfulness. And that's the major reason we're going to lift up our voice. And we're going to pray, oh Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. Amen. Amen. In all areas of life. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. Amen. In all areas of life. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. Amen. In all areas of life. Amen. You see, there's a thin line. And this one thing that believers should be able to know. There's a thin line between waiting and delay. Waiting and delay. There's a very thin line. Between waiting and delay. If you are not careful... From waiting, you will slide into delay. Whenever you get to that point where your challenge becoming a reproach, that's no more waiting. That's become delay. When it becomes a byword, that's no more waiting. That's become delay. When the challenges start making you ashamed, 
That's no more waiting. That's delay. Anytime your challenge now becomes a statement of mockery against your God, that's no more waiting. That's delay. So when you are delayed, you are unfruitful. We're going to lift up our voice. We're going to call upon the Lord. We're going to say, oh Lord, I know you are able. Make me fruitful in all areas of life. Amen. Make me fruitful in all areas of life. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. Let the enemies hear your voice. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. God, you are able. God, you are able. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. In all areas of life. Lord, you are able. 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 Make me fruitful. In all areas of life. Lord, you are able. 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 Make me fruitful. In all areas of life. Lord, you are able. 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 Make me fruitful. All areas of life. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are able. Make me fruitful. All areas of life. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ya la 
It says, impotent folks of blind, of blind, of blind. Meaning the first category of people that waited for the trouble of the world were those who were impotent and those who were blind now. Being blind means your vision has been tempered with. There are people, what makes a man the sum total of a man is the vision he has for his life. Everything that comes your way, the dimension of favor, manifestations, provision, is the platform of vision. Everything God gives to you is for your vision. That's why it's called provision. Pro is in support of your vision. And in, in 
Proverbs 29, 18, say, when there's no vision, the people perish. Why did Samson cry out? Why was Samson pained? Samson was not pained because of his hair. His major pain, in Judges chapter 16, verse 28, was because of his eyes. When the, it, the, the Philistines took him into captivity, they took out his two eyes. That broke Samson. Not his hair, because the hair will grow again. But the eyes cannot come back. The air will grow again, but his eyes could not be restored. That was why the Bible says in Judges 16, 28, And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember, I pray thee, and straighten me. I pray thee, only these ones. This was the only time Samson prayed. Not your Bible. This was the only time Samson prayed. Every gift he had, the Bible says, and the Spirit came mightily upon him. Anytime he's about to perform a major feat, the spirit came mightily upon him. Spirit came. This was the only time Samson prayed. For my two eyes, restore. Every power fighting my vision, your plans, your purpose, your pursuit for life. Every power fighting my vision expire by fire. Amen. Amen. The dream of what you want to become. God's intent, God's blueprint on your footprint. God's intention, God's expectation, divine predestination. You are going to take your voice and pray. Oh Lord, you are able. Every power fighting my vision expire. Yes. Yes. My father, my father. My my father, father, my father. father. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, you are able. Every power fighting my vision. Every, Every power, power fighting, fighting, my fighting my vision. Expire. 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 Your mouth and fire. Yeah. 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 Shagada, 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 Shagada,
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare you fruitful. Amen. In every ramification of your life, be fruitful. Amen. In every area and angle of your life, be fruitful. Amen. I come against the power that makes men impotent. Amen. It's hold over your life is broken. Amen. His hold over your life is broken. Amen. 
is old over your life is broken. Amen. Amen. Materially be fruitful. Amen. Amen. Maritally be fruitful. Amen. Amen. Financially be fruitful. Amen. Amen. Academically be fruitful. Amen. Career wise be fruitful. Amen. Spiritually be fruitful. Amen. Status wise be fruitful. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I break the power of wickedness. Amen. Is someone right now you are addicted to eating pillow? What I'm saying is you are addicted to cutting pillow and eating it. Both the case, both the foam inside, anything pillow. It's an addiction. Right now the power of God is setting you free. Amen. A certain donor I'm seeing a cup and I saw you drink something. It's like you are present. Do not sin. Somebody put something in your drink and you drank it, your poison, your systems have been on fire. Right now, release an antidote to that poison. Amen. I neutralize, I nullify its potency. Amen. And I decree, pass it out. As you, Amen. as you ring, pass it out. Amen. As you ring, pass it out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's someone. Your name is Adenike. And your people, friends, close people call you Nike. But your name is Adenike, but people call you Nike. Adenike, but people call you Nike. Adieu ye. I saw a veil covering you. And the real you has not been manifesting to your world because there's a veil. The enemy has used a veil to cover you. You lack helpers. You lack fulfillment. Right now, wherever you are, may that veil catch fire. Amen. Catch fire. Amen. Catch fire. Amen. There's a woman. You have a child called Humphrey. You have another one called Esther. You have one called Betty. These are your children. But all of them are under the attack of epilepsy and seizure. Right now, I command that spirit of hell. Come out of their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody, your name is Ivan. Ivan. You are in the midst of a battle. It's like a pit that's are struggling to come out from. The power of God bring you out of that pit. Amen. It's a woman, you just lost your husband. He's a uniform man. I don't know what force he's in, but he's a uniform man. And his brother is on you, fighting you seriously over property. A threat even to your life. I have summoned you to come to the hometown, the village. May God give him another assignment that will take his eyes off you and your family. Amen. Amen. I decree. I receive. I receive. I receive. Whatever has tampered with your vision, that power be broken. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bring to pass the fulfillment of your vision. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing about 600 people who have had this dream of your teeth falling out of your mouth. Your teeth falling out of your mouth. The enemy wants to stop you from being a voice on earth, a voice in your family, a voice in your community. Whenever you see your teeth off your mouth, it means the devil doesn't want your voice to be heard. He doesn't want you to become a person of prominence. He wants to silence your voice right now. I decree whatever the enemy has done to your voice, whatever the enemy has done to your rising, your emancipation, is broken. Amen. Let it be held. Amen. As a footballer, you're having a problem with your coach. Your coach is victimizing you. That's that's it's so bad now. 
Well, the Lord will take him out and bring a new coach that will favor you. Amen. Somebody's even yawning. I'm seeing somebody that will probably your yawn lungs. You're trying to yawn and you're feeling. Be healed. Amen. Amen. Place your left hand. Mettez votre main. There you are hurting. Là, vous avez des problèmes. And stretch your right hand to the screen. Et tendez votre main droite à l'écran. Your television set. À votre télévision. Your iPad. À votre iPad. Your laptop. À votre ordinateur. Your desktop. À votre desktop. Your mobile phone. À votre téléphone. Your libro de Baha. De Prasuka. Oh Lord Jesus. Manimo si prati. Regina manasia. Right where you are. Là où vous êtes. You have been using glass, a pair of glasses. Vous utilisez des verres. Take the glasses off. Now your sight has been corrected. Amen. There's a family watching from hospital. Il y a une famille qui regarde de l'hôpital. Your child is paralyzed. Votre enfant est paralysé. Cannot walk. Ne peut pas marcher. Right now. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Au nom de Jésus. I declare healing power. Amen. Guérison.